One of the four arrests made around midnight Wednesday was of Cameron Brandon Shea in Kirkland. Caleb Cole was arrested later that morning outside of Houston, Texas. They were charged with mailing and posting these messages designed to threaten and intimidate the journalists and members of the Anti-Defamation League. That such acts of hate will be met with thorough, tireless, vigorous investigations and aggressive criminal prosecutions. And Brian Moran, the U.S. Attorney for Western Washington, had tough words. Yet the charges for conspiracy to mail threatening communications carry a maximum sentence of five years. Where does this go from here? Is this the end of it or is there more we could expect? In terms of these four defendants? Yeah, uh, or, this is, or even others. This is the start line. When you hear that, what do you think where things go? Well, um, it's wise hedging because usually when you have organizational crimes like this where you have multiple actors um, and some are charged and some are not yet identified, you're going to want to build your case. You're going Mary to Fan was a federal prosecutor in Southern California. She is now a professor at the University of Washington's law school. She didn't prosecute hate groups but drug cartels, but they have common traits. You're going to want to see, find cooperators, um, people who may not have been as seriously involved but who have important information and can reveal um, people who have covered their tracks. Could the four arrested for making threats become those people and help convict bigger fish for bigger crimes? Depending on, on what's charged or not charged, um, there's major incentives to cooperate. Could this case eventually lead to the end of Adam Waffen? She says that's hard to say as groups can morph with members splintering off to start new organizations. But these prosecutors appear inspired to move in that direction. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.